welcome back to Confessions of a Midwife. Today we have a group of second year and first year students and they will be practicing their skills and drills on neonatal resuscitation with the clinical facilitators and that's, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Marina. And Hi, I'm Anna. So they'll be teaching the students how to perform neonatal resuscitation. Off you go, ladies. Midwife, sorry, my baby's not breathing. Oh my God, let's check. <laughs> let's see. Oh, okay. What happened? That's fine. We're just gonna clamp and cut the cord. Is it gonna be okay? Yeah, that's fine. Right. We're just gonna give baby some help, okay? All right. So now we put the baby under the chair. Okay. First thing we're going to do is going. We're gonna call for help. We're gonna put the timer on. Okay. So timing is very, very important. And as we're stimulating the baby, we need to take into consideration it was there meconium at birth. If there was meconium, the first thing is we check baby's mouth. We aspirate before we stimulate. Okay. okay. If no, we start stimulating. We check in the mouth. Is there anything that I can suction that I can see? Okay. We change the tap, the wet towel, holding the baby from the back. And we're going to cover the baby, leaving the chest exposed. And what we, are we assessing for? We're assessing for color, tone, breathing, circulation, okay? Is the, col is the color pink? Is the baby well perfused? Is it blue? Is it pale? Is the baby floppy? Has it good, good tone? Is the baby breathing? So I hear, I feel, I see. And how is the heart rate, okay? Heart rate is quite good, but baby's floppy, is blue, and it's not breathing on its own. So we need to start with five inflation breaths, okay? Very important, put the head on a neutral position, check the mask, if it's the right size, so from the chin to the nose, okay? Leaving the eyes free, and then we attach it to the ambu bag that is going to give air to the baby, okay? So we're going to do five inflation breaths, and what's the aim of the five inflation breaths? It's to release the liquid that is on the lungs. Okay, so baby lungs are full of liquid and with the five inflation breath, that liquid is gonna go out. So these inflation breaths, they need to be slow. So it's three seconds per inflation breath. So we have our baby on neutral position. We're going to hold the mask on a C and E shape. One, two, three, release. Two, two, three, release. Three, two, three, release. Four, Two, three, release. Five, two, three, release. And what are we observing? We're observing if the chest is rising. If the chest wasn't rising, we have to adjust the baby's position. So either we're gonna do a chin lift or we're gonna do a jaw thrust. And then we're going to start again with our five inflation breaths. In this case, the chest was rising. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to recheck again. And what are we checking for? Color, tone, breathing, circulation. So my color is still blue, baby's is still floppy, it's still not breathing. And the heart rate is a bit slower now. So second step, regardless of the heart rate, we're always, always going to do ventilation breaths. Why is that? Because now the fluid is out of the lungs and we want air to get into those lungs. Okay, so we're going to do 30 seconds of ventilation breaths, which are a bit quicker. So one to two seconds for each breath. So one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, two, ten, two, eleven, two, twelve, two, thirteen, two, fourteen, two, fifteen. Two. Okay, after 30 seconds, we reassess again. So color, tone, breathing, circulation. Okay, in this case, we can have two scenarios. Baby is not breathing, but the heart rate is quite good. In that case, we're going to continue with ventilation breaths. Baby only needs air because the heart rate is pumping quite well. Second scenario, my, our baby is not breathing, and the heart rate is quite low. In this case, we need to start with chest compressions. 
okay? The ratio for chest compressions is one ventilation per three compressions, okay? The compressions are going to be done in the middle of the chest, okay? Just below the nipple line. If you are on your own, you will do it with two fingers straight. If you have help, your helper will put their hands and with the thumbs will be pressing in the middle of the chest. Okay? I will show you with all my own first. We always start with the ventilation because it's going to help us count and also it's going to keep the air first, that air that we're going to pump later on, okay? We do again 30 seconds. We, we aim for 120 beats per minute and that is going to be 90 compressions and 30 ventilations, okay? In one minute. We do in 30 seconds and then we reassess. So we start one, one, two, three. Two, one, two, three. Three, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Five, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Eight, one, two, three. Nine, one, two, three. Ten, one, two, three. Eleven, one, two, three. Twelve, one, two, three. Thirteen, one, two, three. Fourteen, one, two, three. Fifteen, one, two, three. And we reassess. Okay, so baby breathing. How is the heart rate? Still floppy, still pale, heart rate still low. Marina, how can I help you? Oh, I have my help here. So, Anna, we're just doing um, chest compressions because this baby is not breathing, heart rate is quite low. So, if you can help me with the chest compressions, we start. Okay. One, two, three, four, Seven, one, two, three. Eight, one, two, three. Nine, one, two, three. Ten, one, two, three. Eleven, one, two, three. Twelve, one, two, three. Thirteen, one, two, three. Fourteen, one, two, three. Fifteen, one, two, three. And we reassess. In this case, I can see baby's breathing. Baby's tone is improved. The color is quite better. They have it. Oh, okay, I think baby's doing much better. Wow, 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 okay, it's, it's crying. So we wrap the baby, okay? We give baby to mom, we encourage skin to skin and early breastfeeding, okay? And then we will do our 3Ds, documentation, debrief and datex. Oh, thank you. And very important to debrief the parents. So why wouldn't you move from the step one until you see chest rising? Because even if you've done two eyes or three times, five inflation breaths, if the chest is not rising, the fluid is still on the lungs. So you just need to change the technique. Okay. So and regardless of the heart rate, first we need air in those lungs, and then we, we need to start working on the heart. Okay. Yeah, so that's the idea. So first, inflate, first five inflation breaths is always all with the baby's head on neutral position. If the chest is not rising, then we do chin lift, okay? Um, and then if the chest is not rising after the second set, you can do jaw thrust. And then you've done it three times and you cannot see chest rising, then you can insert a gadel. Okay. okay? So the gadel, you need to measure it from the ear to the chin, and you know, like, it's something curved like this, and then you would insert it on the same direction as it goes. So you just compress the tongue and then put it in. And that way, the the chest should rise. <laughs> so you don't have to turn it like you, you don't have to turn it as well. No. The palate's too soft, so you might poke a hole through the palate. Oh, so you just go straight in. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So, do you want to be fair? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Well, Come on, Anna, keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, no, I keep pushing, keep pushing. Where's the car? It's coming! <laughs> You did it really good. Ah, it's burning. <laughs> just breathe, just breathe now, just breathe. Come. Oh my God! It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, maybe it's here. Oh my God. That's fine. <laughs>
bit. Okay. It's not moving. It's That's not okay. Moving. Okay, let's. We're gonna cut, clap and cut the cord, and we're gonna take baby to resuscitate us to give baby some air. Okay. okay? Okay, I'm in the resuscitate. What am I doing? Um, I've never done this before. You guys are my mentors. Call bell. Call bell. Hey, hey, no, um, it's me. Um, Time. I'm dry and stimulate baby. Right. So if there's any towel first, yeah. you ask for it if there's no coat. Exactly, we're checking airway, very important, okay? Okay, there wasn't any make. I'm checking airway. I can suction what I can see. If there is any mucus, any blood, any anything in the mouth. I'm simulating for how long? A minute. 10 seconds. Yes, 10 seconds is enough. We just stimulate, okay? okay? And at the same time I'm stimulating, I'm checking the airway, and I'm checking, I'm assessing the baby. What am I assessing for? Color, tone, breathing, circulation. Yeah, color, tone, breathing, circulation, color. It can be pink, well perfused. It can be blue, or it can be pale. Tone, it can be good muscle tone, or it can be floppy, okay? Breathing, is the baby breathing on its own? Do I see the chest rising? Do I feel it? Yeah, do I sense it? Baby's not crying, baby's not breathing, and then high rate. Always with your stethoscope, okay? Okay, next step. Five inflation breath. Remove the towel. Change the towel. Remove the towel, okay. <laughs> How? Can I remove the towel like this? I'm picking the towel. Okay, almost remember, we need to support the, the baby's neck, okay? Mm -hmm. So we hold the baby through the back and we remove the towel. Okay, next step. Five inflation breath. Cover the baby. Cover the baby. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Remember, baby, they will lose temperature. You need to cover the baby. We, you have a hat. You can put a hat on the baby. Okay. So, do I cover the baby like that? Leave the chest free. Okay. Yes. We leave the chest free, covering the baby. Okay. Next step. Five inflation breaths. Okay. Do I go straight away to five inflation breaths? What do I need to do first? Make sure the head's in the neutral position. Yes. So head in the right position. What else does it need to be right? And the um, mouth size. Size. Okay, the mass size. How do I measure? From chin, chin to nose. nose. From chin to nose. Fantastic. And can I attach it on the baby's face? No. Okay, why? Yeah. So I will put too much pressure on the baby's okay. face, yeah? So we attach it and then we start. Okay, how quickly do you want me to go? One, three, three seconds. Three seconds. Two, two. Three. Okay, what's the aim of this inflation breath? I'm telling you that the lungs. Okay, the lungs and remove the fluid. Okay, fantastic. So, position, C, e. C and E, exactly. So you're holding the mask and then you're holding the baby's face, so the yaw. One, two, three. One, two, three, release. Four, two, three, release. Five, two, three, release. What am I checking now? If the chest is rising. Was the chest rising? No. No, so what do I need to do? And continue the five inflation breaths or move the head. So we repeat the five inflation breaths. Can I do the same? Chin, chin, chin lift. Chin lift or jaw yes. thrust. Okay, so. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Release. Four, two, three. Release. Five, two, three. Release. Was the chest moving? Yes. Yeah. So what am I doing now? Reassessing. Reassessing. What am I assessing for? Color, tone, color, tone. Color, tone, breathing circulation. So that's a few seconds, okay? Color, tone, I can see if it's improving. So it's just, you guys know that you're doing that, but it's quite automatic. Breathing, is the baby breathing or not? How is the heart rate? Uh oh, heart rate is very slow. Okay? What's my next step? Okay. Everybody agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Always, always. Then the second step, ventilation breaths. Why? What do we want to achieve? Okay. Oxygen. 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 So we need, we want air to get into those lungs. Okay. How quick do you want me to do the ventilation breaths? Thirty seconds. Fifteen and thirty seconds. Fifteen and thirty seconds. So one every two seconds. Yeah. So one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five. Two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, two, ten, two, eleven, two, twelve, two, thirteen, two, fourteen, two, fifteen, two. If you have the clock, you can also watch the clock. Okay, ventilation breaths. Reassess. Reassess. What are we assessing for? Color, tone, breathing, circulation. Exactly. Color, tone, breathing, circulation, still pale, still floppy. Still not breathing. 
Parade. Oh, it's quite good. What are we doing now? Ventilation. Yeah, we continue with ventilation breaths. When heart rate is good, my baby's not breathing, we do ventilation breaths. Okay. Heart rate is quite low now. Chest compression. compression. Okay, chest compressions. How many? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Uh, what's the ratio? 30 to 90. Yes, so... One ventilation per three compressions. Okay. Do I start with compressions or do I start with ventilation? Okay, first. Always start with ventilation. Okay. At this point, ideally you will have help. Okay? So my helper has arrived. Okay. What should I put in my hand? Here or no. on the Oh, okay. So just draw a line between the nipple. Just below, yeah. Okay, who do you guys want to me to start? Should I start or should I start? Start. 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 start? Okay, important. The person that is at the head keeps the counting. Okay, it's very important to keep the counting. So, one, two, three, two, 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 three, three, two, two, three, four, and two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three. Eight, one, two, three. Nine, one, two, three. Ten, one, two, three. Eleven, one, two, three. Twelve, one, two, three. Thirteen, one, two, three. Fourteen, two, three. Fifteen, one, two, three. Okay, what are we doing now? Reassess. What's happening if in reassessment our rate is still low? Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, we continue again. Okay, so we do another set of chest compressions. If now on reassessment, we check, maybe still not breathing, still floppy, but the heart rate is quite good. And ventilation. We go back to ventilation. Fantastic. Okay. So now baby is quite happy, he's crying. What are we doing with baby? Yeah, okay. Breastfeeding. Yeah. Skin to skin. Skin to skin. Skin to skin. Breastfeeding. And this baby doesn't need to be reviewed by someone? Yeah. Okay, neonatal review. Baby might need to be admitted into neonatal unit for observations. Okay, if you're expecting a baby to need resuscitation, it's a good practice to leave the cord a little bit longer in case the doctors they need to give medication. Okay, through the cord, um, and it's also good to do cord gases. Okay, important to check how the baby was before he was born. Okay, give baby to mom. Encourage oh, skin to skin, you. breastfeeding, and we debrief. Mom, your baby is okay. We just needed a little bit of help with breathing. We gave five inflation breaths. We gave some ventilation breaths. And then we, we helped a little bit with the heart. But then baby cried and baby is fine. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Just focus on breastfeeding and skin to skin. If you notice anything on the baby, please give us a call. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well done. We do mm. the medication that, you, that the doctor gives to the baby in case... Uh, if the heart uh, is still low, adrenaline and do you know the dose? So remember, it's adrenaline is one in ten thousand if it was baby, because the adult is one in one thousand. Because we have an incident when they took the adrenaline for an adult in the previous time. Then yes, correct what you said, the adrenaline, sodium bicarbonate, yeah, and there is another one, glucose. Yeah, because the, the heart to the baby is surrounded by glucose, so that's why they would give uh, glucose for the heart rate to start again. To remember, mm -hmm. adrenaline, sodium bicarbonate, and the explosive. Sad is a good way to remember it. Oh, it's true, actually. <laughs> All right, did you all enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> so when a baby, when, a, when we need to resuscitate a baby, what is it more common? The baby has a respiratory arrest or a cardiac arrest? Why? Because of Aspiration mm, well, It could be one of the causes, but mainly is because if you think about it, adults have a cardiac arrest because the heart has been working, it's a muscle and it's been working for years. So when, when there is an arrest, it's the heart that stops working. But for babies, the heart is a new muscle that is just, it hasn't been utilized. So the heart usually works pretty well. So most of the babies after five inflation breaths, they recover because it's a matter of clearing the lungs and getting some air because the heart will be pumping, okay? So 
those babies that they need chest compressions are babies that they might need to be admitted into neonatal unit and they might be quite compromised. Yeah, so for a half, when the heart of the baby is not working, is because the baby's already been through a lot of um, struggle and the baby might have been hypoxic for quite a while. Okay, because they, they stop compensating. Okay. Is there, what do you call it, you've got um, a baby, you say they're struggling with breathing, but their heart's like going really, really fast, say like 200 beats per minute. Like, how how are you, would you deal with that? Like, would you try and calm the heart down or like, you still, obviously you're still going to carry on with your ventilation breaths and whatever, but obviously if the heart's going too fast. So there is no issue with the heart beeping. So as soon as the baby starts breathing, it's going to compensate on its own. So when the babies are born, the, the heart beeps quite faster. And then as soon as the hours go by, the heart kind of like slows down. Okay. Yeah, so th that is really is something that happens. Okay. Yeah, it's actually, the, 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 you can see that the heart might start going lower, slower, slower, because the baby hasn't had any oxygen. Okay, something else I wanted to discuss in terms of documentation, which is really important. What would you guys want to document? Tell the call bell was cool. What time we tend to answer them? The number of beats. Yeah, so at what time you call for help? Mm -hmm. First, at what time was baby born? So at what time you call for help? At what time the help arrived? The names of the people that attended, very important. Okay, what else? How many times she did the inflation breaths? Mm -hmm. So the maneuvers that you did and how many times you did them? The results when you reassessed and mm -hmm. what your findings were and why that made you Continue. Okay, perfect. APGAR score. Okay, it's quite important for us to, to assess baby. And when was the baby crying? At how many minutes after baby was born was baby crying? Okay. And for Kalida, uh, remind her what is it that is important when we, when, when we take over? This, what history do we want to know when we're going to resuscitate a baby? If there was meconium at birth, abnormalities, congenital abnormalities, mm -hmm. type of delivery. Mm -hmm. I would say as well, was this baby involved in an obstetric emergency? Right. Um, did they have a sudden distortion? That's as well. Uh, it means you might be careful as well and check for the arm, the clavicle, make sure the baby's moving it. Remember, we talked about prom, any signs of infection on mother, any signs of sepsis, okay? Always remember, take a, hist a full history before you start resuscitating, okay? So how many weeks is the baby? Was this a low-risk pregnancy? Type of delivery? Was there an emergency during birth? Any signs of infection? Any prom? So has the water been broken for too long, for more than 24 hours? Any meconium? Has the baby passed meconium before it was born? And was that meconium thin? Was that meconium thick? Okay, remember, very important to aspirate the meconium before we stimulate because we want to prevent meconium aspiration. Okay, do you guys have any questions? Um, I was going to ask, does it matter how old the baby is? So say if you um, they've had a really traumatic birth and mum was prom and what you call it, baby's now day three and then all of a sudden this happens. So if you think about it, when the baby, a unit resuscitate a baby, they stay three. How would you start your resuscitation? With ventilation, right? Yeah, because the fluid would already be off the lungs. Exactly. So when a baby's already been born and has already um, cried, those lungs are already um, functioning and they, they are full of air already. So you will skip that five inflation breaths. Okay, in that case, you go straight to ventilation breath, you go straight to see, okay, how is that heart? Yeah, so it will be, you jump in the first step, you start with ventilation breaths, chest compression. Does it change, make sense? Yeah. Would you change any anything if the baby was premature? No, that's the same. same. When would you consider, uh, consider intubation? So after you've, you've tried chest compressions, then... The, Intubation might be necessary, but intubation will always be done by the neonatal doctors or somebody at, at the trained on advanced neonatal resuscitation.
Um, Said so theory was wrong, and there were like reasons to suggest that the baby had infection. Why would that change how you're going to resuscitate? The resuscitation process would be the same, but it's going to be the treatment the baby's going to have afterwards. Oh, right. So okay. you might want this baby to go to the neonatal unit for observations. Yeah. You might want to start this baby on antibiotics straight away. Okay. What would you do if you were in the community somewhere and you didn't have an ambu bag? So always in the community, the community midwives, they always carry the ambu bag mm -hmm. with a ma different mask. They always carry the stethoscope and the towel. They always carry the clock. Um, they always carry like a um, transfer mattress that when you open it up, it will warm up the baby for transfer to the, to the hospital. So what would you do in the community? It's very important that you call uh, the ambulance as soon as you suspect that this baby is going to need resuscitation. And then while you wait for the paramedics to arrive, you start the situation process. As I told you earlier, you always, as soon as you arrive um, to, to a home or in the community, you always need to have a, a flat surface that you know that you can perform resuscitation. Prepare your equipment, prepare your towel, prepare your stethoscope and your ambu back. It's very rare that you're not going to have equipment if you are on shift. In yeah. each community centre, they have equipment, there is ambu bags. Um, there is resuscitators in Barking Bear Centre, you have the resuscitator. Just, just to say, like, because I'm awkward, you know, if we was on the train and obviously you don't have no equipment, you're on your way home and then, uh, what do you call it, a mum freaks out because her baby's not breathing in, in the car. Like, you don't have your equipment, you can't do breath, like, what do you call it, mouth to mouth because of Covid. How, how are you going to help it's that really baby? Of COVID is, um, if you, if you know their person, if you know the baby and if you are, if you if, if you want to do it, you could do ventilations mouth to mouth. In 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 times like in regards to a baby resuscitation, you will have to cover the nose and the mouth together because obviously with the size of your mouth. If you're not happy with doing ventilations because of COVID or because of um, any other reason, you not, don't know the history of that person, you can just do chest compressions until uh, help arrives. So you call the ambulance nine 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 as soon as you see it and you start with chest compressions. That's the only thing that you can do. So you do a chest compression, you will keep reassessing until the help arrives. If not, the ratio will be the same. You will do your ventilation breaths and you will do your 1 to 3 if it's a baby or 2 to 30 if it's an adult or more than 2 years old. Yeah. But the guideline says that if you don't know the person, just do chest compression. Thank you very much. Did you all enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> so if you are a student, follow, subscribe and share. And thank you, ladies. Thank you. Bye. Bye.